Dragon Skyrim. Get up. Hello and welcome to the Synthesis Guide. I'll cover what Synthesis is, its features, the installation process, and how to go about using it. Let's jump in. So what is Synthesis? Well, first let's talk about Mutagen. Mutagen is a powerful c -sharp library for analyzing, modifying, and creating Bethesda mods. Synthesis is a patcher pipeline system with a graphics user interface built on top of Mutagen. It provides the necessary tools to streamline patch development and is used to construct a unified patch for your game. But why would I want to use Synthesis, Mern? I already have Zedit to do that. Yes, Zedit is able to create patches for your game, but let's say you want to generate patches for speed and reach fixes and TUDM. If you used Zedit to do this, you'd end up with two separate patches. However, if you use Synthesis, you can construct one merged patch using the other patches to save space in your load order. Furthermore, patching in Zedit is limited by a 255 plugin limit. Synthesis doesn't have this limitation and can be super convenient for those who wish to patch a heavy load order. Synthesis also comes with access to the Synthesis Collective, a database of patches that is maintained by the community. You can easily add and maintain patches from this database on the fly using the Synthesis interface. Okay, now you know what Synthesis is and what it does. Now let's go about installing it. First, you want to download the latest release of Synthesis over on GitHub. Once you've done this, extract the zip into a folder called Synthesis. Place this folder wherever you want. I personally put this in my C drive. Now hop on over to Mod Organizer 2. Let's first create an empty mod that will be used to store the outputs from Synthesis. I named this empty mod Synthesis Output. Go ahead and enable this mod. Now let's add Synthesis to the executable list. Go over to the executables, click Edit, and let's add an executable. Locate your Synthesis folder and select Synthesis.exe. Select the option Create Files in Mod instead of Override, and select your Synthesis Output mod that you just created earlier. Synthesis will now build files to this mod. And with that done, Synthesis is now installed. Alright, now let's use Synthesis to create a patch for our game. Run Synthesis. Let's check the Synthesis Collective for patches we want to be added to our game. I have already selected a whole bunch, but check the list and see if you need any. Once you've added all the patches, wait for them to finish cloning and compiling. Rarely, sometimes Synthesis can be stuck whilst compiling. If this happens, simply restart your computer and try running it again. Once it's finished, you should see a Run button in the bottom left part of the interface. Click this button and wait for Synthesis to finish patching. Once that's done, you can exit out. Check your Plugins tab and you should see a Synthesis.esp at the bottom of your load order. From now on, make sure it's kept at the bottom, so it has priority over other plugins. And that's it! Many thanks to the original creator, Nagog, and the various contributors that made Mutagen and Synthesis. If you're interested and wish to get involved in the project, please visit the Mutagen GitHub organization and Discord. I have provided links to these in the description. I hope this guide has helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Currently, only 26% of my viewers are subbed. Also, consider becoming a YouTube member or Patreon to support the channel. Oh, and real quick, the channel has just reached 3,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. Take care. Maximum Games.